delighted you're here at this Conservation Utilities Conference. What is this, uh, 28th one right here at Ohio Northern. We're, gonna, we're beginning with uh, two sets of awards, and then at uh, 9.15, we'll have our keynote speaker, Lee Breezy, uh, come up here and will be with us for about an hour. So with that, we're going to go ahead with the Master Farmer Awards. We're delighted that Ohio Farmer Magazine is connected with us back when Tim White was editor, and now it's Jennifer Keel. And we're delighted that uh, she's going to present two Master Farmer Awards, and they're both here. Fantastic. <laughs> we, we missed one one year. Anyway, Jennifer Keel, editor, Ohio Farmer Magazine. Good morning. Um, the Master Farmer Award is reserved for a very elite group of individuals who consistently demonstrate outstanding farm management, innovation, conservation, and leadership. Ohio Farmer has bestowed the prestigious Master Farmer Award on individuals who have demonstrated how to farm more effectively, efficiently, environmentally, and economically. This year's winners are Steve Reinhardt and brothers Les and Jerry Seiler. Steve, <clears throat> who has the help of his brother Tim, is farming 1,200 acres of mainly corn and soybeans with a few acres of hay. They recently added malting barley to the rotation. Master farmers are nominated by peers and acknowledged for a lifetime achievement and not a single year. All master farmers, as master farmers, Steve, Les, and Jerry all receive plaques and pins from Michigan Farmer Magazine and a Carhartt jacket donated by Carhartt. Videos have been developed by Nicole Heslip and Shannon Yokley of Brownfield Ag News to help tell their stories. Normally, Nicole is here to help me present these awards, but she's just a couple weeks from giving birth, so we gave her a free pass. Instead, we have Amy Simpson here from Brownfield Ag News, and also Gail Keck, who is a contributing writer to Ohio Farmer to help present these awards. Read more about these master farmers in the coming days online at ohiofarmer.com and also in the April issue of Ohio Farmer. So let's watch the video. We have a 1,200-acre uh, uh, row crop operation. Uh, we do also have some hay and malting barley uh, that's uh, new to the operation. Uh, and then we also have a seed and chemical business that... Uh, we help uh, supply our local farmers, uh, neighbors, with uh, decal bass grow and golden harvest products as well as any uh, chemical and then some fertilizer products as well. There are five kids in our family. Just like most other kids did, uh, kind of we would ride to the field with our parents and uh, a lot of times we'd end up playing in the field with our uh, toys and, and they would be working and uh, then as we got older we would begin to help a little bit more and. If we did uh, livestock projects through 4-H and FFA, that's kind of how we got started with livestock. Always had the intent to come back, you know, to the farm at some point in time. Uh, the bad thing is when you grew up and, and were in high school in the 80s, it wasn't the best time to come back, you know, to the farm. So you always look to do, you know, something else. And my brother worked for the uh, local co-op and I taught ag classes uh, for about 10 years. And, and then uh, went on to uh, serve in the House of Representatives and uh, County Commissioner and, and all in the process, you know, farming all along the way. My brother and I kind of took over the farm in about 2005 uh, when my father passed away at that time. Mom still has the uh, control of the, the land and everything that they own. Uh, we rent from her. We've been in the seed business since uh, Oh, probably the early 80s. The uh, fertilizer business just kind of came as a more of a natural uh, fit, and it's only been here of late that we've kind of ventured into that uh, arena. Help them from the start to the finish and uh, get the best uh, management program and stuff they can. We were at a, actually a soybean meeting one day, and, and that's when Bart said that he had somebody that I should get to know, and then it happened to be you know, carry. The younger one likes to come up and do things. I got a couple pictures of her driving the combine and stuff. And Nicole, the oldest daughter, is more interested in uh, the healthcare field. We've done more and more conservation uh, work all the time. Uh, we have some grass waterways that have been designed by the uh, 
Soil Water Conservation Office and uh, our NACRP program. We've moved our application of fertilizer into the spring, uh, so we're not putting out fertilizer in the fall anymore uh, to try to prevent a lot of loss through, you know, erosion. Uh, we've also uh, have done a lot more no-till and uh, cover crop use. We have been grid sampling for a long time, but now we're starting to get it into a smaller um, block. Half of our farm drains to Lake Erie and half of our farm drains to the uh, Scioto River. And uh, we're actually at the head of the Scioto River and uh, not too far from the Sandusky River that goes to uh, Lake Erie. And uh, so it's very important that we, you know, help to manage what we do here. Steve came highly recommended by others on the Nootel Council, specifically Jan Lehman, our president. He, as a legislator, was active in working on what became H2 Ohio, uh, improving water quality in the state of Ohio, and specifically Lake Erie. He no-tells. He has a farm uh, in an important watershed, so he's been very active in promoting the principles that I think make a great master farmer. In the community, I served on the volunteer fire department for 22 years and have always uh, served on the church board uh, as well. I've been on the uh, Ohio Soybean Council since uh, 2008, but I got elected to the United Soybean Board to represent Ohio so I can serve on the Ohio board for until that uh, would expire. You know, one of the things that I think that uh, farmers are always good at is, you know, helping their community and trying to come up with uh, different solutions. So hopefully the Master Farmer program would, you know, encompass, you know, all those uh, different aspects. Congratulations, Steve. You join me up here, please. Well, thank you, Jennifer and uh, Randall. It's quite an honor to have uh, be presented the Master Farmer uh, Award. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Keith Kemp and Dr. Lines and Jan Lehman for their support. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents as well. Uh, like I said in the video, in the 1980s, it wasn't the best time to start farming, so we've had several jobs and uh, along the way, and it almost looks like you can't hold a job, I guess, as far as... Uh, go from uh, teaching ag to the state house uh, and then back to the farm again. So in the state house, we worked a lot on bioproduct development, uh, working on the CAFO uh, application rates, ethanol and biodiesel. And then Todd Hesterman, uh, my friend here, is uh, with serves with me at the Ohio Soybean Council, and there we've been able to advance uh, soybean use uh, into a lot of different products, including four tire lines now at uh, Goodyear. Uh, tire and rubber, and then with our cooperation with USEC, which is our exchange program, uh, we're also working in Bangladesh, Nigeria, and India, trying to open those markets up to soybean exports as well. So, uh, been a good uh, um, time to be in agriculture, and I think it's going to continue to be a good time in agriculture, and uh, hopefully with the designation of the uh, waters of Lake Erie, we have been able to work on the H2 Ohio program to present to the governor, and at least we have some options now to work with, uh, uh, you know, reducing those phosphorus loads, and I think that's going to be a, a benefit as well. So, uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Les Seiler. Hi, I'm Jerry Siler. We farm in Northwest Ohio, Fayette area, in the Western Lake Erie Basin. We've been uh, no-tilling for 35 plus years now. We started using cover crops in uh, 2009, mixing that with continuous no-till and finding some really cool results in, in what, how we're building our soil health and the resiliency that we can, we've seen in the soils. Mainly, it started with erosion. No-till 
practices, uh, started learning about uh, waterways, you know, improving those kind of conservation issues. We pretty much farmed our whole life. I mean, we, we started helping them as soon as we could. We were big enough to <laughs> start driving tractor. We've been helping ever since. Both of us was an FFA, raising livestock. We always had animals. Before each of us got married, we would take money from our off-farm job to help update machinery and, and uh, try and build the farm, you know, keep working on it. And as we got married, things kept growing and that kind of changed and we still worked off-farm. Jerry still works off-farm. Today, my job kind of ended back in 2009 at what I was doing, so I've been farming since that point. We farm 1,650 acres, and of that, uh, there'll probably be five to 600 acres of corn, five to 600 acres of soybeans, 180 acres of alfalfa, 115 acres of barley or malt, and about 130 acres of uh, wheat. Crop diversity was, was important. The, the days of the corn-soybean monoculture was, was kind of a negative thing. To, to promote soil health. Our yields are probably as good as any there is. We do test plots a lot for our seed company, and for some reason they use our test plot information to sell their seed to other customers, so there must be something there that it isn't a disappointment. My family, I've got two children, a son and a daughter. Uh, my son is helping us as much as he can. He works locally here. My daughter's in Atlanta doing her thing, doing quite well for herself. I've got three kids, the two girls, one in Chicago, one in Owensboro, Kentucky. My son is right now at Ohio State studying to be an electrical engineer, but when he's home, he's helping us. Between the two boys and us, we have a few people that help us. The wives help quite a bit. We're very fortunate. Come farming time, they're on top of things with getting us food, plus the books. It's uh, half Jerry and Chris's and half Lucy and I's. And my son, he says he wants to farm, so. I hope times allow that. I mean, when we when we first started farming, it was in the 80s, and it was tough. Master Farmer is one who uh, typically has several years of experience and has been farming in what I call the right way. Uh, for me personally, that would be no-till and lately using cover crops. In that way, that farmer is an inspiration to neighboring farmers and sometimes across the whole state or region. Uh, it's somebody that is looked up to in the community. I go to a lot of to a lot of conservation, uh, water quality, no-till type stuff. Jerry's on the board over here at Gerald Green. Our wives take care of the church activities. To me, it's a big deal. It's a real honor to, for something like this. I mean, I, I know my, one of my buddies from Williams County got it, Alan Dean. And the man is a, the man is a genius, and their top-notch operation. I think probably our mentors would, mostly would be, I mean, our parents, of course, but uh, our landowners, and that still happens today. I mean, oh yeah, it's a fun relationship. Right now, farming is fun for me. I mean, I enjoy it. We own some of it, but we still rent. Farming is almost three quarters uh, rented ground. Farming the ground like it's ours is what they like and they feel that it's helping keep their ground for future generations. Congratulations, Les and Jerry. Will you join me at the podium? It's hard to know where to start thanking people for something like this. Uh, it's It's been a, for me, the last few years since I've been farming full time, you don't realize how much you appreciate it, the task you've got and uh, managing through some of the decisions we have to make. It's it's really been fun. And I, I want to say thanks to everybody involved here, the Randall and uh, our wives, uh, for goodness sakes, we couldn't do it without our families and uh, feel very blessed.
Uh, that concludes the Master Farmer Program, but I would encourage anybody to start thinking about next year. We really like to have some nominations. I'm sure every one of you knows somebody who's doing an outstanding job, and we'd really like to uh, recognize them for that. Thank you. What, what, what issue is this going to be in Ohio That will be in the April issue of Ohio Farmer. It will also be online, and so will the videos. So ohiofarmer.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. And we're, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Conservation Delis Conference is really proud to be a participant in the in this Master Farmer Award. Another great award that we have is the CCA of the Year, and Logan Hockey is going to make that presentation. Good morning. Um, I'm Logan Hawkey, Chair of the Ohio CCA Board. I bring greetings to you on behalf of the board serving more than 560 certified crop advisors in Ohio. And I am very pleased to have just celebrated our 25th year of program in 2019, marking 25 years of knowledge, experience, and dedication of Ohio CCAs serving our industry. As a service to the Ohio CCAs from the Ohio Board, please stop at the Ohio CCA booth um, in the trade area uh, to receive your uh, just released Ohio Weed Guide. As a, as an aid to serving your clients with appreciation from your board. And now, since 2003, the Ohio CCA program has awarded an Advisor of the Year Award, designed to recognize an individual who is highly motivated, delivers exceptional customer service for the farmer, clients, and nutrient management, soil and water management, integrated pest management, and crop pr production, and has contributed sustain sustainably to the exchange of ideas and the transfer of agronomic knowledge within the agriculture industry in Ohio. This year's recipient, recipient has more than 32 years of crop advising experience and service. In fact, he was among the very first individuals to become a certified crop advisor. As senior agronomist at Tiger Saw Products LLC, Wesley Hahn is responsible for developing nutrient management plans and managing harvest data as well as conducting, supervising, and managing on-farm soil fertility research across various areas of the United States of America and western provinces of Canada. According to his nominee, Michael Dinnerline, Wesley has the ability to translate technical information into layman's terms to enhance farmers' ability to comprehend. His conservative approach to advising other CD CCAs and farmers has served him well, as evidenced by his growth from retail to international crop advising. Hahn delivers crop production information with emphasis on soil fertility and plant nutrition via dealer meetings, state association meetings, and seminars as well as occasional individual farmer discussions. He is frankly asked to share his wealth of knowledge at international conferences and on research trips abroad. And it is my honor to present the 2020 Ohio Certified Crop Advisor of the Year Award to Wesley Hahn of West Liberty, Ohio, and team member of Tiger Saw Products, LLC. Wesley, could you please come forward? West will be presented with a plaque, a, a plaque and $1,500 cash award courtesy of Ohio Associated for Independent Crop Consultants, Ohio Farm Bureau Federation, and Nutrien. Again, congratulations, Wesley Hahn. Ohio Certified Crop Advisor of the Year Award. <laughs> 